We gave you cats under what? $500, $800, $1,200, but we gotta go bigger. We gotta go bigger, more expensive, because the truth is, they may want cheap, but when they come here... Hey, uh, what happened to uh, the cold? I, I was ready, I, I brought a jacket, everything. Well, Alex, it's, it's, warm, it's warmed up again in Florida. Welcome, everybody. This is David, I'm with Action Water Sports. Everybody knows Alex. He yeah. came to visit the store again today. Action Water Sports in Auburndale, Florida. You made a long drive today. Yeah, a long drive, and it cost me like three times more. Yeah, how far did you have to drive to get here uh, from Miami? I don't know, 200 miles. About 200 miles, but why do you come here from 200 miles Because you from got Miami? everything, bro. Because we have everything, bro. We have kayaks, we have, you know, well, we don't have everything because it's still hard to get boats, but we have lots well, available. You got, you got more than we most have people. more than most people, that's for sure. And you're nice, friendly, allow yeah. me to uh, yeah. videotape. And we have lots of room, it's airy, it's a big warehouse, so we always invite anybody to, uh, Oh, we have Mojo too. I, yeah, I want this. We have a we have a shop dog. This is Mojo. <laughs> I want this to be my retirement plan. To to sell kayaks. I have a store like this. Let's open up. If Miami had a place like this, it would be so busy. Yeah. The problem is, it's very expensive to have a place like this in exactly. Miami. Exactly. Because real estate costs so much money, mm -hmm. and unfortunately, the cost of kayaks keeps going up and up and up. We know that the gas is going up. The kayaks are a petroleum product, so we know. Uh, yeah, it's more and more expensive, so get it now. Get your kayak now if you're looking. Now's the time to before buy. Before they're gone. Before they're gone and before the price keeps going up. And also, for you guys, if you ever want to bring your wives with you to the kayak store, we have the best thing you've got going on. My wife, beautiful wife Angel here, she has a, she's got a business called Dazzling Driftwood. And, it, and it's part of the kayak store. And what she does is, she, we take driftwood and she hangs crystals from the driftwood. And uh, you hang them in your window and it makes rainbows and stuff. So yeah, it's kind of something fun. And it'll keep keep the wives busy while you're shopping for kayaks. They'll be so happy. Look in here. So you could buy more kayaks. Yeah, look in here. Look in this inside the store here. We have a whole display going on. We have our handy dandy Sarah here who works with us and helps build them all the time. So this is something else that's going on inside of Action Water Sports. So we sell kayaks and crystals. So yeah, DazzlingDriftwood.com is the website for that. Awesome. I was going to ask about that. Yeah. Very fun. All right, guys. So we gave you kayaks under, what, $500, $800, $1,200, but we got to go bigger. We got to go bigger, more expensive, because the truth is, they may want cheap, but when they come here, they don't walk out with a $300 one. Not necessarily. So what we got here now is we got three boats that are $1,600. What can you get for $1,600? Um, well... One, you could get a Big Water 132, which is a big guy boat. Look this, at that. Uh, this right here, let me look at the specs on it. It's 13, 13 foot 2, 33 and a half inches wide. They say it weighs 86 pounds. Oh, um, they say. We got to test That's what that. this is, 86 pounds uh, with a 425 pound capacity. But it's nicely outfitted. You know, it's got rod holders here. It's got accessory tracks in the rear. You have a tank well. Humongous. And look, it's kind of like an open type mm -hmm. of deck. Yeah, yeah. You could, put, you could put the rods, actually, you could put the rods in there for storage, or if you're gonna go under through the mangroves or mm -hmm. whatever, that's yep. a nice stuff. I know, it's got a nice little section under the seat here. You could put your Plano tackle box, for a, like a Plano tackle box. It has a little, watch this little- um, Console? Console, it's got a- area here for you can put like a phone a phone and look you could it's magnetic yeah, so look, at, look at my phone it fits perfectly in there so you I can lock it inside it though. there i, I would trust. yeah you're right you need to have a waterproof case on it but and i gotta look leech, make it a waterproof you never case. know at least yeah. but um look if you have hooks and stuff you can put it here as magnetic yep, on a magnet and you got um accessory replacer right here so you can put your fish finder you have inside here it comes with a nice little plano tackle box there's an extra paddle holder here that goes on the side here but these are deep. Look at yeah, there. Yeah, they're deep. Oh, nice. And guess what? And, and these would also fit, like I said, that's under the chair, so. And you can modify this if you want to make it a light bulb. Yeah. One of them. You just put one of those, uh, a lot of, uh, a, a, radar, a lot of storage in the middle of this, so. Yeah. And then you have, uh, you have a stand-up strap right here, which is nice. Like, anytime you see a kayak, when you're in a kayak store, and you're going to see a strap right here in the middle, that's what it's for. They're telling you, hey, when you go to stand up, you can grab a hold of the strap. But we gotta up. warn them though, this boat 
once you, it's your like, actually, you know what? Standing up is more stable than if you're just sitting here. Yeah. Because you're so high. Look at this. But if you stand up, the walls, they're gonna give you extra balance. Yeah, Look how balance. tall they are. Yeah. And here there's a, they put a bag here for batteries, batteries and accessories. Fine. It's attached on the inside. Yeah, that's um, why it costs more money because they give you a little bag. Yeah, you know, it's all so about basically accessories. you get a lot of accessories on this boat. So this is the Big Water 132. Next to it, but wait, wait, we're not done here. Oh, okay. Look, what look, you got a pouch right here. Pouch in the back. More storage. The seat, you could bring it down, I think. Can you? This here, the uh, seat. Yeah, yeah, it can, it has a snug a yeah, it has position a, down here. So you have the high sitting position and the low sitting position. That's actually a good thing because what I mentioned earlier. So this you can bring this back down like this. Yeah. Bring it down into the low position. Yeah, like I mean, right there is going to be far more stable than when you're that high seating. Right. So you may want to use it in the lower you have position. Have high or low seating positions. Um, you could rig up a rudder right here, which is like three hundred dollars. Really, mm -hmm. that's a lot of money. Like this boat with the rudder, you're talking about two thousand dollars. It's crazy stuff. Yeah. What do you get? These are the rod tip protectors. Like they hold them on the inside when you lay your rods a vertical side. So what do you get? You get a fast boat. If you lower the sea, it's gonna be stable enough, and you got plenty of accessories. And you could even do a built-in live well right here. You could put the aerator over there and get your fish over here. Look, it opens easily. Or you could do your fish finder solution and all that stuff. And you could easily motorize it right here. You have all this stuff to motorize it. So if you add all that up, it's not a bad deal. Now, we have something else here. What is this? This is the Radar 135 from Wilderness Systems. 13 and a half foot, so it's the same same length as the Big Water, pretty close to it, um, very similar. They, they have a few other features which are nice. One of them I like though is the removable center console. So on the removable center console, what's always nice on any boat that has that, you, of course you can rig it with a, put a transducer here and a battery on the inside, put a fish finder here in the mount and it's all self-contained for a fish finder unit. You could put an amp outdoor lithium battery amp right there. Outdoor, yeah. And guess what? You could save 5% by using my code alias5. And this, like David said, you could take it with you and study your map. Yeah, so when you go to McDonald's, it's just in the back of the car. You could take this out, it's not gonna get stolen. Nice. Removable. Uh, you have a large hatch on the inside, big oval hatch here. Pretty water, water resistant as, as I had never say waterproof on anything that goes in the water. Now, this center console here, the, the nice thing about the radar series is they can add the pedal drive to this boat. Ooh. So you could turn this into a pedal drive kayak by adding the helix, the HD drive that they have for this. So um, that does add to the cost of the boat, but we're talking about boats that are in the $1,600 range. So without the pedal drive, you, that's what you're getting. So moving down here, you have a center hatch in the middle so you have some access there you have uh, the air pro max seat which is nice about this you have three positions you have a high position you have a low position and you have like a recline this is like falling asleep position <laughs> uh, can you attach the kind of like the standing thing where you could um, a stand-up bar well they they had a seat that you could stand up and kind of oh recline. I know what you, yeah yeah that would go back here they still they still make that yeah that oh, would, that would, right that would here, ring right? back here, yeah, it would attach into here. They give you some flush mount rod holders inside the, built into the hole, and then a big tank well area here for, for storage of gear. And fish um, bags. Yep. But Wilderness Systems make some very nice quality boats. They also make this uh, in the 11 and a half foot series too, in the radar series. So, but for the purposes of what we're doing here in this price range is 13 and a half foot. And they have a plate here. They, they make it easy to motorize this boat. Look at this, motor up. Mm -hmm. I like that. I like when companies embrace motors. Yeah. Nice. You know what's some other nice little features? On the Wilderness System boats, where your foot goes here on the foot pedal, it's an oversized pedal here, and it's rubberized. It's, it's comfortable on your feet. It's not just like a solid black um, hard, hard pedal because they put the padding on the pedal. And that's a, a nice feature I like in the Wilderness Systems boats. So when you transfer this into the HD, you still have that low and high sitting position, right? You're gonna lose that. Yeah, uh, yeah you do. It's, you're still gonna have that. And you gotta, and, and the reason it's so easy to do it because this seat is on a slider system. You see, we can adjust here. 
we can adjust the seat, slide it forward and back. So you can fit it where your feet need to be on the slider system. So it's, it's really convenient. We would, when you do the, the HC drive, you do have to put in the, the hand steering rudder, which was gonna go right here. But that's all included and in the kit. the kit is gonna have the rudder as well. The kit comes with the rudder, right. So if you think about it, it's not a crazy bad deal with everything you get and you get the option of retrofitting this boat. Later. Yeah, exactly. Because unlike this one, if you buy this, that's it. You cannot add it, the drive to it. Now, look at this. For yeah. that budget of $1,700, you could get a PDL kayak. Yeah, this one here is the list on this one is $1,649. Wow. Um, for the Sea Stream Angler 120 PD. Here's, here's the logo the Angler 120 PD from Sea Stream. So it's already coming with the pedal drive included without having to buy anything extra. It also has the hand steering. Your steering system is already included in the boat. And the seat is not as fancy. The seat is not as fancy, but it's, it's, it's a good seat. It gives you a pretty good back support here, and it's on a, it's on a slider system like the other. So the seat can slide to any position where you might need it to be. Right, it goes under that thing right there. Yeah, we just put this one, we just put this one, we sold two yesterday, we just brought this one out this morning. They're selling so like... Locks in. We're selling pretty good on these. Fresh yeah. bread. <laughs> well, we did a special. We got them at $14.95, so, so really it's a $1,500 and under kayak for a pedal drive. For a, yeah, that's crazy, crazy deal right there. Yep, and um, this, is, this is an alignment tool. You can line up your prop so when you want to bring it out, you know where it is. You just push yeah. that down. We did a full walkthrough of this kayak on a different video. If you want to check that out, I'm going to link it somewhere. Now, something we got to mention because, you know, it's important. These two kayaks right here are made in the U.S. They have lifetime warranty. That one does have? I'm not sure about that. The but they're made here in the U.S. This one is made in Thailand, not China. But again, uh, U.S. companies, all of them. Yeah, they put a little American flag right here. Boom. This has a limited lifetime warranty also. There you go, awesome. Right here. And that is on the whole. Look at this, you got it. See, you spend more money, you get more stuff. Like, seriously, yeah. between this boat right here, I think the Raider is looking to be like a better value. Not, not talking about the PDO, I'm talking about this too right here. Because yeah. you have that option of upgrading it to the PDO drive. A lot of features. Yeah. You get basically you're getting a lot of features in the boat. Stuff you don't have to add on later in the boat. So all right, all right, all right. but guess what, David? There are people out there that have unlimited budget. So we gotta show them what can they get. What is the most expensive kayaks that you have right here? We need to line them up and talk about it. In the store today? Yeah. It's, it's gonna be the Hobie, of course. Well, we, see, you sold the old towns. <laughs> Where are the old towns? Oh, well, they're gone. This, I, I had some. They're gone. I'm they're talking here, about the PDLs and I'm talking about the other paddles. I'm, I'm not talking about the paddles. I'm sold out. <laughs> sold out. And Again. you still have hobbies. Like, still have some you hobbies. still have hobbies and you don't have old towns. Like, what's going on here? Yeah. Luckily, <laughs> I was able to get more hobbies in. Uh, we have some now, but we're actually limited down. We've sold all of the pro anglers, except for I have one used pro angler today. Um, and we have Outbacks in stock. And yeah, a couple okay. of uh, Compass Duos. That's really all the inventory we have. We're waiting on another shipment that's due in the middle of this month. But um, it's, it's hard. We sell out. We get them. They, they come in. They go out. So, and a lot of people are on waiting lists. Sorry, guys. We cannot make that video because you guys bought the most expensive kayaks. <laughs> like, I don't get this. Look, we still have $300 kayaks, $500, even $1,600 kayaks. But we don't have the three, four $4,000 kayaks. They're gone. They're gone. But compare that to the fifty and sixty thousand dollar flats boats that are out there; they're not that expensive. Exactly. <laughs> Look, um, ten thousand dollars could get you top of the line everything: graph, kayak, rods, everything, right? And a trailer. That is. That's how much money you're gonna spend on gas if you have a big nice. bass boat for a week. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. This is our trailers we sell. Did you show the trailer? No. Just a small trailer, which you can get. I sell this trailer for eight hundred and fifty dollars. Two kayaks. That's not bad. You know, this is what you were just showing on. On my next trip, I may buy one. Yeah. And then they're going to be sold out. Then they'll be gone. <laughs> yeah. It'll, it'll be gone. I, I can't keep up with the inventory. It's hard, and it's looking to be another busy How season. How long is it? Uh, 14 feet, I think. Yeah. 